Hey, I'm here with Ron from Sleepy Circuits at KnobCon. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's So yeah, my name's Ron. Uh, I run a company called Sleepy Circuits. It's all about enabling audio-visual arts. So all of my instruments are about integrating audio and video together. Uh, my first instrument is called Hypno. Uh, this is a standalone video synthesizer box. It's been out for a few years now, so it's got a really mature feature set. It's kind of like a two oscillator video synthesizer. It can do generative shapes, or it can actually load videos off of a USB drive like you're seeing here. So you can either prepare videos or not prepare your set uh, and do generative stuff. Uh, and this is meant to be just like a box you can add to your system. And then there you have it, you're running video for your show, which is always an amazing add to any musical or video performance. So that's a really great way to do that. But I really want to talk about and tell you about Mez. So Mez is my wearable wireless MIDI controller. So it can be, of course, used for audio as well as video. But I've actually developed it together with a 3 video synthesis app. So this is a completely new backend that actually lets me run a completely 3D engine. So you can actually lava lamp the shapes into each other and mix and match, kind of like the Hypno, but now in HD and 3D. I just added a full-on like preset system for this thing in trigger modes. So you can uh, organize a bunch of presets and trigger them just like right off this tiny MIDI controller. There is a uh, gyroscopic control, so you have a gesture control, so you can kind of clip it to your belt. And while you're playing some audio, you can dance around, and then your visuals will kind of dance with you, which is always really, really engaging for the stage. And uh, yeah, you can use this in many other applications as well. But this one has uh, contextual menus. And now I actually added envelope followers for every single parameter. Uh, so now I can, for example, reset and go to like a basic sphere, pull that up. And then if I go into the modulation menu, not only can I do LFOs like before, I can add auto envelope following. So what you can do is literally just leave your iPad up on the stage and have it listen to the room. And you can organize a bunch of presets that are going to pulse and dance with the music that's going on in the room. And uh, yeah. That's uh, cool. Can you, can you show some of the presets you've got on there? For sure, yeah. So here's a few I got. Uh, this is kind of a fractal one. Uh, you can actually lock this page now. There's like a bunch of trigger pages. There's eight trigger pages. Uh, so you can just then, you know, keep this on your belt or wherever in the corner and pull up a bunch of different stuff. Uh, the touchscreen works as well. This is just kind of like a fun utility so you can easily get to a specific place with the camera. So that was a preset already. Here's another cool one. You can like also move it around with the touch if you want. That's like a new thing I just added. And uh, yeah, you can organize, like program a whole show. You just have to take the USB and get like a USB hub, get the HDMI to your show or to your projector. And the great thing about having the iPad is then you have your preview monitor and you also have the screen going on in the background. So with this setup, it's like, even easier than ever to set up your video rig. So you don't even need to have a table at the venue. Like I've literally done shows where I'm standing there in the crowd, like dancing and tweaking with the Mez and just having a great time chatting away with all the people at the party. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I want to mention one more thing. So another thing you can do and now actually is you, there's a first party integration with the Hypno. So if I could pull this up for you. So you can see now on MIDI channel 16, the Mez uh, actually now mirrors the Hypno UI. And the UI, the way it's laid out, is actually kind of backwards compatible. So it's the same UI that you're used to. So pulling up presets, doing everything, is pretty much the same type of control as you had before. So you can also do, just like on the other one, presets and then all the stuff that you're used to on Hypno. But you can keep one of the pages open. So instead of having to hold the shift commands on the Hypno, you can have a page open with the Mez and have it be fully synced in so it's like a fully integrated uh, controller made specifically for the Hypno as well as a 3D video synthesis system. <laughs> that was great. So that's this yeah. is the new one right here you said, right? Yeah, the Mez. 
So is that a, yeah. is that available? And it's great now? for audio as well. I should mention that. So the all of these you got eight by eight controls, and then the side buttons change the MIDI channel. So all 2048 MIDI MIDI CCs are accessible with this without having to remap. So you can remap. You don't have to remap. Uh, so, but you could totally use this for your audio synthesizer, or use just one channel for audio, another channel for video, or you can use this to switch scenes in your OBS stream and stuff like that. Like I just made a video about that. That's pretty cool because you can be playing around anywhere with any of your synths and just be like triggering different camera angles with the Mez wirelessly. Wow, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So what's the avail? Is, is it available now? Yeah, these are in stock now. Uh, if you're in on the other side of the globe, we have a few EU retailers, but in the US, I just do direct sales because uh, we like to help people out with the video stuff. You know, it's a pretty deep subject, so we really pride ourselves in making sure like everybody gets going and gets the help that they need. Yeah. So yeah. where do people go then if they want to? Uh, you got a website or whatever that people. Oh yeah, can go so sleepycircus.com. Uh, Sleepy Circuits logo looks like this. <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's a really great time. It's a great way to get started with video or control your audio stuff very, very remotely. <laughs> yeah, what's the cost on that? So this is 360. This is 640. So it's a, this one's a little bit cheaper if you already have to happen to have an iPad. But if you're not into iPads or like the Apple ecosystems that I have this running on right now, this is currently Apple Silicon, just because that's what I got working. Uh, the Hypno is also a great solution. And the Hypno at this point has got like a really mature feature set. So that's a real been, it's been a real workhorse for a lot of people, which I'm really happy about, you know, because that feels good. <laughs> that's great. All right. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Ron. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.